What's up, man? Yo, drop a like, man. Drop a like. Let me know I ain't doing this for nothing, man. Can we get up to, can we get 10, can we get 10 to 20 likes on this one? That would be awesome. All right, let me know we ain't doing this for nothing. I ain't doing this for nothing, all right? Okay day yesterday. Oh, okay day yesterday, man. Hope you guys had a good day as well. Um, either way it goes, we got three games today, all right? Not the best slate here. If you see the, at, the, at the bottom, you see, um, you know, the ticket going down there. If you're not using prize picks, I suggest you try to use them, man. Uh, you know, good way to support my channel if you use my promo code. But, man, uh, you know, in instances where you can get money back and for uh, where you can at least double your money if you miss a pick or uh, get some of your money back if you miss, you know, two picks, uh, I think that's, you know, pretty, 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 pretty good there. My favorite is a two pick uh, plus 200. Um, but anyway, it goes. Uh, yeah, uh, what was going to say here? Hey, the parlays are the devil, man. That's why I use prize picks when I do those uh, for my for my player props, you know. But, you know, a lot of times, you know, on the books, you know, if I really do a parlay or something like that, I'm, I'm pretty much altering. And uh, straight betting is the way to go, man. So, you know, a lot of my picks, you know, first things first, take what you like. All right? Take what you like. That ensures that you've done some research. And then, uh, you know, um, straight bet. Key in. All right? Key in. Key in. That's major key. Key in. And then look ahead. Look ahead to tomorrow. We got, I think, 10 or 11 games tomorrow. Look ahead when you don't, because you you want to you wanna look at your, look for your spots and you want to choose your spots and look for your spots. You want to target teams for this, that, and the other. Look and see when they're on the slate. I'm going to attack these guys. Each one, each one of these teams, I'm going to attack their ass when they play. I'm looking to see who they play and when they play and shit like that. Teams that have, you know, that, run, that pace up matchups. Because I like to bet peripherals, okay? I like to bet rebounds. I like to bet assists. So teams that are running up and down the floor, bad teams, you can take days off. Like, I'm only betting when the Rockets play. Shit like that, but that's just a few tips that I want to throw out there for you guys. Let's get into this sloppy slate right here. Not too much I can talk about right now because I don't have any numbers, but some things, another thing, the things that we, we listen, this is going to become riding a, like riding a bike, okay? What I mean by that is, here's what I do. And we've been doing this for so long, I gather information throughout the day. And I absorb information all day long. I absorb, 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 absorb because the, the number one thing is the injury report. All the research you do all day can get thrown out the window from the injury report. So like I always say, you learn the injury report. People say, how you learn the injury report? You're following underscore, I mean, uh, uh, underdog underscore NBA on Twitter, turn the notifications on for them so you'll be notified every time they upload the notification, all the uh, roster moves and, and you know, start lineups and injury news going to come right to your phone. If you don't, if you don't have this, you, you're blind. You're blind. You're blind. It's like equivalent to being blind. You got to have that. Got to have that. The information you're gathering all day, then the hour, the most important time is the hour before lock the lock of each game because that's when the injury news come out. All the information, all that fucking research you did all day has been thrown out the window, especially for props. And then it's beneficial to you because you, you learn who benefits from what? These injuries. Injuries can be the gift. Injuries can be the curse. A lot of times you have to take advantage of uh, this shit from um, live betting. But you know who's going to get a bump if this guy's going to be out. You know who's going to get a downgrade if this guy's going to be in. You know, it's two sides of these bets. There's overs and there's unders. Los Angeles Clippers at Miami Heat, 2.13 and a half over under in this spot here. A game that's just riddled with injuries, man. A game that's just riddled with injuries. So here's what we're going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. Because I already know who I got my eye on. I like the bet peripherals. First of all, let's go through these injuries. Butler, questionable. Tyler Hero, okay. If Butler don't go, we know Tyler Hero is going to come in and take 15 to 20 shots or more. That's what it is. That's how they do it. 
Um, John Wall should be playing today. Morris should be playing today. Struss, I don't know. I right, look. Uh, Powell probably should be playing today. Um, Oladipo should be playing today. We'll see. Luke Kennard should be playing today. Should doesn't mean is. Uh, go check that site. They have already tweeted about it, man. They've already tweeted about it. I, had, I just got to go back and look again. Uh, Paul George should be in. He said he's going to play. And then Kawhi Leonard is a question mark. He's not on the injury report right now, but we'll see. However, what I like here, um, Bam. Bam's got pretty good numbers versus uh, versus uh, Zubox. I mean, let me see. Um, 20 and 12, 30 and 11, 27 and 12, 16 and 13, 22 and 11. That's five straight double-doubles versus him. Um, however, uh, I need to see if Jimmy Butler is in. I mean, that don't stop. That's not going to take the, hit my love for his rebounds away from, though. But, you know, I don't see a path for Ben to get in foul trouble. So, and then <laughs> I love peripherals, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, rebounds and assists is, you know, one of my, uh, you know, one of my sweet spots. However, on the other side, you know, this 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 Miami Heat team had been rebounding the ball very well either. But uh, Bam has a decent usage rate, and he can get somebody like Zubak in foul trouble. So I do have interest in Zubak rebounds, barring any foul trouble. All right? Now, uh, hmm. <clears throat> what do we have here? Any numbers out? Any numbers out? Let me see what we got. So we got Paul George and Kawhi Leonard here. I mean, okay. I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is. Well, let, let, let's let, let's just keep it moving. I don't have a play on the side. Let's keep it moving. Houston Rockets at San Antonio Spurs, one of my favorite games here. Two thirty over under right here, man. My first, one of my favorite teams to target. Both of my favorite teams to target. All right. So look, let's 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 just go through a few things real fast. Let's go through the injury report. All right, Devin Vassell is questionable. I mean, he's doubtful. Keep an eye on Popovich. He can keep, he can take you from doubtful to questionable to in. All right. So keep an eye out on that. Kevin Porter Jr. questionable to play. They probably sit him out. I don't know. Both of these teams want to lose. Okay, Poto is out. Uh, Keita Bates Diop is out. Soshan is out. Just, uh, uh, Richardson should be playing today. All right, so he's somebody that we can look at for live bet purposes or whatever the case may be if they don't put him on the books. Jason Tate is out. McDermott is questionable. I think he's going to be playing. And Bruno Fernando. Um, I hope this guy sits. All right, now. One of my favorite plays, because we don't have those numbers out for these guys, but I'm going to tell you, one of my favorite plays here is going, my favorite play from this game would be Alper Shingon if they feel like they want to give them their number, their minutes, all right? So what they did here, all right, what the, what the organization, they wanted to go out and win that game versus Houston. So what did they do? They played Alper Shingon for 34 minutes, all right? That's the game they wanted to win. That's the game they wanted to win. But how do you play him 20 minutes versus Golden State? 24 versus Phoenix. Um, 29 versus uh, Denver, the second game. And 23 versus uh, Denver, the first game. Like, you tank it, mother. This guy wants – I mean, this guy is pretty good, man. Goes out there against 8-8 eight eight versus Embiid. Uh, I mean, look. They wanted to spoil that James Harden shit, so they went out there and did that. However, personally, I'll be taking stabs at his his shit, at his props. Okay, personally, it's not nothing I'm giving out, but a lot of you guys know my pain already when it comes to him. Now, um, Kelvin Johnson. All right, Kelvin Johnson, over, I want to say, I didn't look at the numbers, but 45 to 50% of his shots are coming from behind the arc, all right? You can see his three-point prop is sitting up at three and a half. The books already know this. I mean, you you should already know this. Uh, if you want me to go through some of his three-point attempts, then 5, 8, 13, 9, 8, 4, 10, 5, 9, 9, 8. All right, so who is this, man? I can't answer that. I'm, I'm working. Either way I go, yeah, so 
But if, I think, you know, if you're thinking, you know, his point prop is not out of the realm of possibilities either. Um, he's averaging 20.4 points a season. I mean, points on the season. So uh, he's hit this number two out of his last four games. So, I mean, it is what it is. Trey Jones, his point prop is going up. I got it at 13 and a half. Not an official play, but I sprinkle something on it. I sprinkle something on it. Um, the assist prop for Trey Jones, I'm really going to like the assist. Um, these two teams, let's just look at it here. Assist points per game. Uh, San Antonio's giving up the most, okay? And then uh, Houston is right behind them, like the fourth worst. One, two, three, four, fifth worst. They're giving up assists. Uh, as a team, um, let's see, uh, rebounds, rebounds, no, three-pointers, three uh, opponent three-pointers made, Miami giving up the three ball, uh, Houston number one are giving up the three ball, Minnesota, been, they've been making it rain on Minnesota, but then you have San Antonio right there, so, you know, these, these you know, these teams, you can see the Sparks fly. McDermott might come out there and hit a few. So keep an eye out on that for live betting purposes, okay? So these are two of the worst teams in the league at defending the three. So there you have that, okay? So rewind that back to the assist prop. I just showed you guys that. And then, like I said, Trey Jones, it's a lot of ways you could attack this one here. His points or his assists. I like them both. Or you can go back here to the player combos, and then you can take some iteration of it. Like, say, for instance, his, his PRAs is sitting at 25 and a half. Well, um, he hit this number. He had 23 points 23 points versus the Lakers. They played back-to-back. -back. He had 20. He had 19 points versus the Lakers. They played. He had 19 to 23 points versus the Lakers, all right? Uh, the 19 points, he had five or six. The 23 points, he had 13 assists, okay? This guy can really pass. He's averaging 6.9 assists on the season. Uh, you might as well just say seven assists on the season. Um, I got I got, I got, got interest in the over here, uh, seven and a half assists. Uh, so there you have that. But um, the player combos, I'm undecided on which way I want to take. Do I want to take the points and assists? Probably so, because I think he's going to get, of course, he should get elevated usage, if you ask me, in the absence of uh, uh, all these players that are out. I mean, so, I mean, Nova Cell, as of right now, he's doubtful. And, I mean, what the fuck, you know? Keita Bates, Diab, I mean, Soshan, and So he should see a little bit of usage bump. So uh, the over 21 and a half, I can't talk to you off of that. You know, so that's, that's, that's how I'm looking at. That's what I'm looking at right there, all right? Of course, um, the Jalen Smiths and all that. You don't need me to talk about that. Um, super honorable mention, um, Jabari Smith. You know, his numbers are in play versus this team, okay? So uh, we just need numbers to come out. All right? I'm, I'm going to be looking for Jabari Smith, sure. Um, oh, Zach Collins, man. He just gets in a lot of foul trouble. If you don't get in a lot of foul trouble, I like him for a few rebounds here and there, stuff like that. All right, that's just enough. That's enough. That's a fucking enough. All right, let's go to the last game on the docket where, um, man, these guys were teammates, man. We got an over under of, uh, what was it, um, 228 and a half in this one. These guys were teammates when it comes to uh, Yusuf Nurkic and um, uh, Nikola Jokic, man. You know, Denver Nuggets, they made the right chance, the choice, you know, in keeping Nikola Jokic there and then, uh, you know, it is what it is. Now, um, these guys, they clashed. I mean, if you want to hear some numbers from over the years from these guys, I mean, you got, you got, you got, uh, let's see. Nurkic, uh, 12, he's got 12 and 6, uh, 8 and 6, uh, 6 points and 1 rebound. Yuck. 13 points and, no, I'm sorry. Let me, let me, let me, re let me go back over this. Um, 13 and 12, 10 and 8, 4 and 6, 20 and 13, 8 and 7, 22 and 7, 12 and 8, 17, 11, 20 and 19. All right. Nikola Jokic, uh, 9, 9, 9, uh, 28 and 7, 28, 9 and 9, 21, 3 and 2, 25, 9 and 5, uh, 8, 5 and 13, um, 40, 10 and 8. You know, so, you know, those are some numbers from the game logs from these two guys. So they're going to clash. So that's one thing. Now, um, 
matchups. Um, uh, Jamal, I will say, um, Damian Lillard and Anthony Simons are not the greatest defenders, so one of these guys are going to have to get Jamal Murray, so that's one thing. Uh, the over 19 and a half points is in play for me here. But uh, I got strong interest in that 19 and a half points for uh, uh, Jamal Murray, okay? He's hit this number in, um, let me see, four out of his last six games and uh, six out of his uh, last nine games, I want to say, okay? So uh, the uh, I can't talk it off of that, right? Can't talk it off of that, all right? So th th that, that number is in play for uh, – Jamal Murray, 19 and a half. And then, you know, Damian Lillard and Anthony Simons, uh, it's self-explanatory for these guys here, man. Uh, out there on the perimeter, the three balls in play for Murray and then uh, Damian Lillard and Anthony Simons, that's what they do. So, you know, pick your poison when it comes to that. I don't have a side, I don't have a side in this one here. Interesting uh, thing to point out here, Josh Hart is questionable, but I will say um, his rebounds and assists proper sitting at uh, – Let's see. Ten and a half, all right? You know what he does. Now, we don't have these big, 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 big guys on the, on, on the court, but this guy is just pretty much phenomenal. I'll give it to him. He's averaging eight and a half rebounds on the season, man. And his rebounds and assists, he's averaging 12.7, all right? So, but I know, you know, you got Nurkic out there. You got joker out there so you got two big towers out there so i see instances why they're they're giving us a good number on this so i mean it is what it is uh man i'm so tempted to jump on that but i ain't even i'm probably not gonna do it all right uh i'm and then i like i said i'm gonna temper my expectations on uh on this game man on this game probably so uh, i'll be looking ahead to tomorrow man but that's just about it, man. I know it's a long video, but hey, drop a like for me, man. Uh, let's get to this money. Let's get to this bread. Peace.